So since I'm in college, I thought that being present on a college campus alone would just passively get you some IQ points so that you'd be able to become smart and get yourself a job later on. You know, I thought that's how colleges worked. It turns out that's not how colleges work at all. It's pretty much the opposite, really. And I mean, okay, you have to be willing to put in the work and the hours, which I mean, I'm totally willing to do. But the way my college approaches things is just really, really dumb. And I just do not understand it at all since, okay, my college makes us do this mandatory training thing every single year where they cover topics like alcohol since, I mean, they don't want us to just be face down drunk every single night every single night on some random street you know i understand but then i don't get why they make us take it every single year since the question since the training involves you watching some videos and then answering some answering some questions but then the questions just don't change literally the questions have been the exact same for i don't know how long you know, I figured that if you want someone to take something seriously, you'd probably put a little bit more thought and effort into how exactly you present it. You know, there's some serious topics in there such as alcohol because, you know, alcohol can lead to drunk driving and drunk driving actually kills people. So, you know, you'd probably want people to take this kind of stuff seriously. But yeah, they basically didn't change anything at all about the questions except for the order in which they're presented. Wow. Thank you for putting in the thought and effort, college. I mean, I purposely went out of my way to try and look for questions that may have been different while wow, my teammate just died, but I purposely went out of my way to look for questions that may have been different from last year's, and I could not find a single question that was different at all. Literally, why? You know, I don't get it at all. Come back. Thank you. Oh, you were so close to the water, I kind of feel bad. But then again, I really don't, because I want to win this game. Anyways, what was I talking about? No. Yep. This is Subway. Oh. Okay, bye. Uh... So yeah, the procedure basically is that we just have to end up watching a set of videos and then answer some questions afterwards related to the videos that we watched so that we just prove that we didn't just mute the videos to go buy some chimichangas at the nearby 7-Eleven on the street corner, which I mean, it's understandable and all that. I, you know, I guess my college thought that they were being clever by being like, teehee, these guys have to actually watch the videos to get the answers for the questions. You know, we're so smart. But then that argument kind of falls apart considering the fact that the questions that they give us are really, really simple, okay? Literally one of the questions that I got for the alcohol section was, drinking alcohol may lead to you being intoxicated. I'm not even joking, that was literally one of the questions that I got. Oh, you're not my teammate, goodbye. What? I can't, I cannot tell who is my teammate anymore. That's, okay, okay, that guy's not my teammate. I'm gonna go after this guy. You know what? Good enough. That works for me. What was I talking about? I forgot. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I guess that my college thought that using the word intoxicated instead of the word drunk would probably be a better move because, you know, drunk has less syllables than intoxicated. So I guess that they thought, oh, bigger word equal harder question, you know? It's good to see that my college is putting in the effort to raise awareness about serious topics, you know? And another thing I just don't understand is that my college is like pretty against drinking in general, or at least that's what the questions kind of seem. It's It was like the vibe that the questions gave off, and it's just like, they were kind of just telling the students to just not drink, which I mean, I guess just drink safely and all that, but I mean, it's college students, okay? There's gonna be drinking no matter what. You can't just You can't just say to them, oh yeah, please, please don't drink, you know, we don't like that. You can't, like, that's not going to work, okay? I don't know why my college is super against drinking, but then, I mean, it's what alcohol is one of the two beverages that helps college students cope, okay? One being alcohol, and second being instant ramen broth. That, okay, come back. I, I have zero idea what I'm even talking about anymore. Just come back, please. I think you're the last guy. No. Okay, he's going to make this very difficult, and he's just going to, like, knock me off this ledge, isn't he? Yep. To be honest, I'm not really sure as to why I keep on talking about alcohol and all that. I mean, 
considering the fact that the majority of my audience is in the 13 to 20 year old age range, which, which I mean, seems pretty accurate, you know, but then I checked my other YouTube statistics and they said that like 5% of my audience is in the 50 to 60 year old age range, which I mean, I mean, I'm not saying it's inaccurate, but who knows? Maybe some grandmas and grandpas just really enjoy watching me play some Minecraft. Did you, you survive that, didn't you? Okay, never mind. Guess not. So since my audience seems to be quite young, and I'm assuming you guys take PE at school and all that, I guess I should tell you guys how exactly you can exploit the PE system. Please don't delete my channel, Susan Worcestershire. I, I like this YouTube channel. But anyways, how to exploit the PE system. So, okay, for this to work, you need to have a PE teacher that grades your guys' miles. I'm assuming everybody that takes PE runs miles. Who knows, maybe it's different for other schools. I don't really know. I'm, I'm pretty sure that there are some other schools in the world. I think that's a fact. But anyways, what was I saying? Okay, that's right. PE for your miles. Your PE teacher needs to grade your miles based on how much you improve on them, not how fast you run, okay? And for that to work, for how exactly you can exploit the PE system, you need... Okay, so what you want to do is you need to set off a really, really poor first impression at the beginning of the year, okay? You need to get, like, the longer the mile run you get on your first one, the better, okay? Be and then what you do afterwards, if your teacher allows you to, just get like a little stopwatch or something. I don't know, a little mini watch or whatever. Some pocket watch that some old people use. I don't really know. But anyways, what you want to do is you want to bring that to every single mile run from now on, okay? And you want to time yourself so that you just continuously improve each and every single time. Not a lot, not a lot, okay? Maybe like five seconds. And then some other mile runs, you want to stagnate your growth a little bit. You know, go for maybe an improvement of maybe even like one second or two seconds. Or just don't improve at all that day, you know? Just be like, oh yeah, I have an off day and all that. <laughs> okay. I'm such a good person. I'm, I'm a very good role model. But anyways, I guess if I want to neutralize me being a bad person, I guess I should, you know, just tell you guys to exercise regularly as well. Because I mean, exercise is pretty important in life you know you don't want to be i mean i know that we're gamers and all and it's in our natural dna our biology and all that to just sit you know sitting it's probably one of our best hobbies it's what we're best at but then okay just exercise often okay of course if you don't want to exercise that's totally fine you know your outward appearance doesn't indicate who you are as a human being and all that so yeah i figured i should say this before i see my name as a hashtag on twitter sidebar just just please don't please don't cancel me please don't turn me into hashtag i don't put other people down based on their outward appearance but yeah anyways if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and thanks for watching later